hello, uh, my name is Luke Heyman, and today I'll be doing something a bit different. Uh, I don't know how this video will go for two big reasons. One, I think I'm going to try a new style of uh, drawing over the concepts uh, as the video goes along. I've been trying to find a way to make my videos more interesting, and uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments or just message me, because I'm very interested in knowing your opinion. Second thing is, I'm going to be talking about a very broad subject, uh, and how I'm going to cut down and make it more precise, I don't know. And this might be a bit wishy-washy, uh, and it'll certainly be very, what the f*** are you talking about? But uh, please stick through it, and uh, we'll see how this goes. So today my video is going to be about happiness, and how you can really attain it. It's been a question that I've been trying to answer for a while. There, there is no true answer, but uh, and a lot of books have been trying to explain this. Um, one thing I can rule out is happiness does not. You don't get happiness from having an, an actual life. Like, there's not like if I have a million dollars, if I have this mansion, if I live on the beach in California, I will be happy. I, I don't think that's true at all. I think you have no matter where you are, your money situation, uh, you have the equal uh, opportunity. Of being happy so how can I how can I be happy then is the question we're all asking ourselves and what the book flow by Mike uh, explains is that it's the process of achieving something that's that that brings happiness right it's not the end product it's not the goal I mean the goal will be happy but there is always a goal there's always gonna be a new one just whatever you think you're wanting to do right now and that will make you happy, when you get that, you're going to want more. And so it's about enjoying the process and finding something fulfilling and something new and I guess in itself not staying in your comfort zone, which is what I'm going to make be make what I'm making this video about. There is a book called The Flinch uh, by Julian Smith and he explains this uh, in the same way. By the way, this is a very cheap book. Uh, for three bucks, and it's pretty short, so I'd really recommend it if, if you have time. Julian Smith explains that the flinch is basically, the flinch happens at the outside of your comfort zone. Uh, and once you break through the comfort zone, on the other side, you've got a better a better life. And he sort of, at some point, uses the metaphor of a, of a hedge. Uh, how it's like prickly to go through the hedge, you might bleed a little, but once you're on the other side, that's where you're like super happy that you're there. And I take this metaphor, and I take it kind of to a very wide extent, and I, I think that there's there's always a new hedge. There's there's never, no matter how many hedges you've broken through, there's always another hedge to break out of your comfort zone. And uh, I see it as a bunch of, like, circles. So we were born in this pretty small hedge, and we broke through the first one, and then we break through again and again and again, till we get to, I guess, wherever we are at this point, and wherever we will be soon in the future. When you look back at your life and you see all the hedges that you've gone through, like, can you imagine, like, zero-year-old you looking at whoever you are right now and thinking, wow, this is amazing. Even just a year ago, two years ago, like, two years ago, I couldn't imagine me making these videos, making, like, thinking about the stuff I'm thinking about, being as adventurous and crazy and living on my own, like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a wild idea, which... We always surprise ourselves because we take it step by step uh, and don't really see how much we've improved. But yeah, so beating the hedges, playing the game against them is is kind of what you should strive towards. And that's what I've been striving towards. Now, I've been pretty lucky in the sense that I've been forced to get out of my comfort zone a few times in a major way because in my childhood, I've, my parents would move around uh, we, I moved around four times, uh, each time to a different country, so Canada, Japan, England, France, and that really helped me, you know, not get stuck in one world view. Now, that does come with issues as well, but it was great to see the world uh, and sort of realize that there's so many different ways of looking at one thing. There's so many problems which we only see from one angle based on where we are but we see that there's different ways of doing things and it's so so easy to get stuck in one ideology and, and not growing 
And so I was forced to, to really adopt the mindset of many different cultures uh, and see that the world is just a bunch of, it's not a bunch of borders, it's just a bunch of humans randomly spread out on land, uh, made to believe that they have a culture and that's who they've always been and that who, that's the only person they can be. I'm now continuing and I'm currently continuing this process of moving around to help me get out of my comfort zone. And so you may or may not know, I am in a fraternity called Sigma Chi. You can see the shirt over here. And this in itself is pretty crazy for me, especially stereotypically. It's like uh, parties and drugs. Like That's not how I see it. That's not how we are. Uh, I see it as a voice to my intellectuality. But one thing that I can say is that most of the people in this fraternity are, are pretty extroverted and they make a big contrast to me in that way. Me being afraid of chaos, one of the scariest things for me would be to move in to a house of what I perceive as chaos monkeys. And so that's that's what I'm doing. I, I'm, I moved into the fraternity house. This is where I am. This is where I'll be filming the next videos, I'm assuming. This freaks me out. <laughs> There's so many, so many things that could happen. But at the same time, I can't let that mentality dominate me because I chose to do this because there's so much I can learn from them. There's so much I, I can see to live in the moment and to not, you know, just be open to new experiences and new suggestions and, and new ideas. And that's, that's one of the great benefits of, of what I'm doing here. And hopefully this will be a, a growing journey for me. I really invite you to sort of look at where you are and ask yourself, am I in a comfort zone? And if you are in a comfort zone, then think about if you want to be there or if you want to break through another hedge and see how many hedges you can break down how wide of a comfort zone you can get i think coming back to the book flow by mike whatever his name is it's about striving to to, to new goals and self-growth in in itself is pretty i think self-growth is an ever-ending journey but just that journey of always trying to grow yourself it's it might appear to be a selfish one but i don't think it is it's improving yourself for everyone and that's maybe the greatest thing that everyone can do because self-actualization is should be a goal to strive for uh getting to a place where you are happy where you are fulfilling the best of yourself to you and to society i don't know that's can you imagine a world where everyone is the best version of themselves? I don't know. It could be interesting. In any case, uh, I hope this video was interesting to you. I have no idea if you watched to the end. If you did, thank you very much. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you So now this video is over. Uh, if you'd like to consider uh, dropping a like or subscribing to my channel, that really does a lot to help me uh, and my videos and my channel growth. Uh, I can also see if you enjoyed it or not. Enjoy your day. Thank you.